Leroy moved to Live Oak, Florida, and from 1984 to 1988, he continued in ministry, traveling to Tallahassee, Florida, every week for four years to pastor a church. To this day, he remains a minister of the gospel. Mr. Johnson continues to share his faith and his knowledge of the Bible with the residents and the staff right here at Surrey Place through Bible study and devotions. Mr. Johnson gives his brief but powerful summation of his life. He said, I have followed, I have followed the leading of the Lord, and my hope is I will see souls in heaven from all the areas that I have served. It is with great pleasure that we induct this member of the greatest generation, Mr. Leroy Johnson, into the Surrey Place Hall of Fame Cafe for his leadership and his public service. As was, as was intimated, I gave my life fully to Jesus Christ when I was 19 years of age. I was in second year of Bible college at the time, and uh, I uh, uh, spent the, the next 17 years uh, on the home front. Now, uh, the, the Lord's Army, and we all, and everyone that's a true Christian is a member of the Lord's army. Uh, we're in a warfare between good and evil, uh, between uh, righteousness and sin, between true and false religion. And that's a global warfare between Christ and Satan. And uh, <clears throat> uh, for the first 17 years, I spent in the whole, on the home front. And as was intimated, he said, man, well, I also spent, uh, with pastor in Toronto, Canada, and uh, uh, Chicago, Illinois, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and, and, and some other places, and spent a good many years at the headquarters in uh, uh, Waukesha, Wisconsin. It was, uh, uh, it was taken over by the Metropolitan Church for a headquarters building, a 500 room uh, hotel. It was the largest hotel west of Chicago at the time, in 1906. And uh, in there, there was an orphanage, there was a grade school, there were men's and women's dormitories, and, and, uh, and also a section for small families, as well as classrooms. And, uh, and then it had a printing plant. And that was what kept the, 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 uh, the, not only the homework going, but the ex what became an extensive foreign mission work going as well in South Africa, in India, and uh, of which my uh, second wife, uh, where, where my second wife was born. Anyway, uh, <coughs> I, uh, I, I do thank God for the wonderful privilege I've had of serving, serving uh, what the scriptures call the captain of my salvation. And I'd just like to sing a song which describes my present, uh, present sentiment. As I said, I started when I was 19, I'm now 94. And I feel the way this song uh, indicates. I love him far better than in days of yore. I'll serve him more truly than ever. Oh, uh -huh. 
a tribute to the true hero of this drama, and I believe of this whole celebration here tonight. And uh, <clears throat> his name is uh, called, called the Captain of Our Salvation, Jesus Christ. And the great Napoleon Bonaparte made this significant statement regarding uh, Jesus Christ, and he affirmed that Jesus Christ was the greatest thinker that ever walked across the pages of human history. That's saying something. Think of all the great big, uh, emperors and, and, and rulers, the world rulers of the past and all, but Jesus Christ is greater and had a greater impact upon the world than all the rest of them put together. And uh, so as I would like to give a, a, a tribute. We've had the ROTC give the tribute to our country and our flag. And we, we thank God for our country, founded on biblical and godly principles, but fast drifting away from all of them. And what we need is an old-fashioned revival. Yes. And uh, so <clears throat> I would like to uh, give a salute to him just now.